is a Lucy Pyres. React content is garbage, but I'm a raccoon. Very true. But she's not a raccoon. That's a uh, Snuffy. Coming up next on America's Got Talent, Lucy Pyre! Hello, Lucy. My name's Noah Snoo Walkwood. Sure, I knew that. So, what will you be performing for us today? This is my impression of SS Sniper Wolf reacting to TikToks. Wow! Well, those are nice feet. Making orange juice? That's crazy. Oh, he's mixing it. Oh, he's pouring some. Oh, he just poured ice on a tray. Oh my god. What's he doing? Amazing. What is that? Is that, is that salt? Wow. Oh my god. Wow. So, so cute. Yeah, I, I very would love cute. To eat that. that. That looks amazing. Wow. What the fuck? She deserves better than that. Listen, honey, you're fat, you're stupid, and the only thing you'll be reacting to is my security guard escorting you off my fucking stage, you twat. So react <gasps> She's not fat at all, but she is padding. Okay? She she padded the fuck out of this the, this model compared to her old model. That's the only truth here. Content is finally getting shit on by mainstream content creators. Oh no. And that means Christmas came early. Gamers. Oh no. The React meta is officially dead. Twitch has declared bankruptcy. XQC stocks are at an all time low. Multiple streamers have issued public apologies and are begging for the forgiveness of the masses. Oh wait, none of that is happening at all. And I still see this BBC coming up in my recommended every single day. How could the YouTube algorithm do this to me? Hi. You're not going to stop Asmund Gold from reacting. He is... That is his main content. He's not a WoW streamer anymore. He's a React Andy. Didn't Lucy become a React streamer? She's done a few React things. She's not like... She's not like constantly reacting. She... She... Okay, I watch Lucy's streams. I'm just going to be flat out and honest. I watch Lucy's streams almost every single time she streams. She barely reacts. She picks like one day at most out of the week and even still it's like every other or even once a month type of thing like she does not react that much like she barely does she actually produces content and it's completely fucking degenerate but it's amusing simp lucy actually is unironically good at streaming like insanely good at streaming i'm not simping i'm serious i think she is insane at streaming she's fucking funny as hell i don't care if it's degenerate hi it's me lucy your inner demon here this is an intervention to let you know it's not youtube that's letting you down it's me i'm the problem what so are you. no you everyone's the problem we all we all love it reacting for i too am a filthy streamer who committed the ungodly sin of reacting on main but am i gonna have the mother of all woman moments and shit talk it anyway you know it baby yeah i mean i'll shit talk people who just sit there and say all the fucking time just like yeah dude cool true eh, 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 all the fucking time and that's all they do if they seriously sit there and that's all they do and they have no commentary, like, I will shit on that. Because that's not real reaction. You're just sitting there leeching content completely. Like, I, even what I do is technically leeching to some degree. I agree with that. Like, cause, what, what do you want me to say? It is, like, it, I'm watching other people's content that they made and for my stream. But the reality is, is, like, you need to make sure that you actually promote the person you're reacting to. And it's not like, yeah, it needs to be transformative. That's the biggest thing. Today, I will finally break my silence and pick a fight with he who shall not be named. What? Voldemort? This video oh, is fun okay. I get to wrestle with someone way outside of my weight class. After all, how can anyone compare to my massive 600 pound sock? But don't worry, I'll give everyone a fair trial because I'm biased on both sides of the aisle. Holy heck, that rhymed. I also want to dispel the myth that reacting is the easy way out for content creation. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is if you're MLP, but... Me personally, reacting is too difficult. I have to think too hard about things to comment on. <gasps> it's your! I mean, I can't be the only one who's used to zoning out and drooling like a Neanderthal when watching YouTube content, can I? I, I will say... And I, I'm going to be real. When you guys post some stuff, I cannot react to it properly. Like, it, like some stuff you guys provide is not, like, 
reaction content in the way you can give like real commentary it's really hard to do that and that's some of the times why i like steer clear of certain videos that you guys do share like it, unless there is something in it that i can actually comment on i feel like it's me just rebroadcasting whatever they posted like it's it's not gonna be like authentic like commentary it, usually unless it's like a video that is something i can go back and forth with and and talk about it, it's i feel like it's almost nearly impossible like and and certain content clearly like is easier to do it that with only food videos food videos are probably the hardest thing to do the reason i feel like i can do food videos is because a lot of times i'll talk about like oh uh, what is this ingredient or like i'm not sure about this and usually it's something you guys can like add on about but like in general like i can't really react to something that i one don't have a lot of knowledge to unless i'm like trying to relate it to something i'd say those like japanese analysis videos are really good because i do have some familiarity with japan i do have like uh, i i i can see it and i can be like what the fuck is this compared to like a real life situation i've been in and and stuff so that that sometimes works right like at least the weather woman one i can definitely relate to somewhat as just paying attention to any celebrity culture streaming culture influencer culture or anything like that like i i know that right but when it comes to like the car thing i mean i may have gone to fucking get a car and like i'd be like what the fuck about that and like actually analysis i give it analysis on that and i mean we've, we've all dealt with with corrupt companies uh meaning meaning activision blizzard you know i usually watch youtube while i'm eating so that i never have to experience a moment i watch youtube alone. when i'm working with the voices inside my brain you have to get and on stream and naked. so if i'm gonna watch something i'd rather just sit back and relax taping slow oh, i like living a slow life <laughs> and isekai slow life some might even say legend has oh, it today's sponsor meaning if you'd rather spend your time restoring your brain all right what anime life, titties are reaching in today lucy the eat ramen while shouting that's so true true every two minutes you've come to the right place Isekai Slow Life is a game where you can learn the true joy that comes with being a mushroom surrounded by beautiful that's, women. Oh, okay. I was going to say that's not anime titties, and then we saw that, and like, holy a shit. Mushroom. There's a fox girl right here. Hold up. Who's the best animal eared girl here? Unfortunately, cat girl, I don't think you're winning this one. Definitely, it's the fox girl in this situation. Holy shit. Women. Yeah, that's right. You're a mushroom, baby. A mushroom that can start a happy family with a vampire nurse, a lovely siren, oh. and of course... Is that Kafka? ...that can start a happy family with a vampire nurse, a lovely... That's just Kafka. But with devil horns and a wings. That's literally just Kafka. Okay. Siren, and of course... My favorite... An octopus feature. Jesus. Holy shit. If you see a cute girl and you like her, you can take her home to enjoy some slow, easy living. It's that simple. Now even someone like me can maybe pick up... I mean, the vampire chair. wife is pretty hot, too. That's just Beatty. You can take a blood sample. <laughs> I'm just a meal for you, queen. The true beauty of Isakai's little oh, life... Oh, okay. Bunny girl. ...companions you can meet, and each one has their own special skills that can help you explore and build up your village. You can create work with that as the rock schools oh, and more anything you say in your village goes in the I'm gonna if I play bg3 I'm killing him <laughs> he is my he's my patches <laughs> by the way can I just he is my fucking patches I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna end him my god just oh my this. god but if you ever crave something beyond building your own dictatorship uh, sorry I mean loving community Jesus you can guild and wander the world with fellow adventurers or create a lifelong enemy by challenging them to combat just don't forget that your form and reputation will change as was she stepping on that fall, dude so make good I mean it makes sense to me rewarded. who knows maybe even a mushroom can turn into a waifu the possibilities are true I guarantee endless. if you can make a cockroach a waifu you can make a mushroom a waifu if you can make a moth a waifu you can make anything a waifu if you can make a refrigerator a waifu you can do it anything can be a waifu Use my QR code to download Isekai Slow Life today and use my gift code Mushroom to get I know they all exist. Right now. Anyway, you <laughs> I know they all exist. Video, a 
on the internet that makes you think of one of your friends or siblings, and you want to show it to them, so you do. But the entire time you're concentrated on their face and how they're responding to it instead, it's like it's not about the video anymore. It's about their reaction to it. You want to see if you're right about what they'll think. Or what about this? Have you ever told- Streamer, are you agreeing with me? Streamer, here's my favorite video. Give it to me. Tell me what I want to hear. <laughs> Streamer, you like what, what what they're telling you, right? You're enjoying the video. You you like it just like me, for real, for real? I mean, that's not what you guys do, but, you know, I've seen it. Tell someone a joke and the way they laugh that the joke was way funnier than the joke. That feels like Zeno chat. Yeah. Sometimes. Especially when you make little snort noises when you laugh. It's not weird. It's not cringe. It's like the cutest thing ever. Herein lies the beauty of React content. It's almost wholesome in a way, or at least it spawns from wholesome desires. Because people shit on being parasocial all the time, but everyone's down to watch their favorite gamer man give hot takes on video games. I this think one of the things that makes Final Fantasy XIV unappealing is the fact that the game looks like shit. So okay, I've never commented on that shit, but he is a fucking so wrong because of, like, I'm sorry. Like, that is the most insane thing I've ever heard from him. He is... That is his worst take, unironically, to me. Like, I, I think it's bad. Like, I fucking hate, like, cannot agree with that. It, it, it comes down to, like, I actually think WoW looks good, just to be clear. But it's just a stylization. Like, this is the thing about 14. 14 has a more likely to age than anything else. But it, it's it's about consistency and what's, what's, like, shown to you. I saw the video that he reacted to that was about it looking bad because they literally said, this is Asmund Gold's worst take, right? And I, I'm, I'm saying, I think that is one of his worst takes. For I'm agreeing with that. But, 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 the, the examples the guy used were terrible. I, I, I'm not going to get into it. I just, I thought they were terrible examples. Something satisfying about seeing someone with way more clout than you say the exact same things that you think and feel, especially when it's controversial. God, it lights a fire in my pussy. Jesus Christ, Lucy. Hold my hand! I mean, under my ass. And what's the harm? Other than the streamer profiting off of other people's hard work and giving them nothing in return, that is. But come on, what a first world problem, am I right? Okay, I'm I I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna like sit here and and say she that's doesn't happen and I think she's right that this does happen where like obviously like if Asmund watched something he has like a million views on something and then the other video has like a like two a hundred k maybe even less than a hundred k it depends on the video right and there's not as much crossbreeding but I do see a lot of people from Asmund's chat that join in her stream unironically. And I do think it's because of Asmin. I have seen it. Like it or not, reaction content is in demand. It's hard not to notice when reactions to videos get more views than the original, sometimes by magnitudes of millions. And I'm not here to tell you you're a bad person for that because <sighs> this is really hard for me to say, but I've watched reaction content too. Yes, it's my fault that Asmongold reacts show up in my feed. It's because I've clicked on them. And you know what? I've done it more than once. It's like junk food, man. You know it's bad for you, but you can't stop shoving that shit in your mouth because the cocaine they sprinkle in the Cheeto dust just slaps. But that doesn't change. I think I've... So, at least in the WoW crowd, because of Asmin's videos, I have caught... I've, like, watched so many more videos from, like, WoW creators to be fair, and there are a bunch of things that I've picked up on that I, creator-wise, like, I never saw the Ackman before as, an Asmin video. I never saw Bellular or, like, Mad Season or Preach and all these people before Asmin. I knew about a lot of these people before they also switched over, like, Pyro because of Asmin before they even got into the Final Fantasy XIV community. Like, I, I was, like, completely detached from the, like, WoW community altogether, and then I saw Asmin because I was playing classic wow at one point and then i started seeing his react stuff and that led me into a whole bu bunch of other videos
Like, that's just how it happened. Isn't that how she got bigger? I mean, she's good. Like, I, I actually, I, I think she completely has a hold her own value. I mean, she would have grown. I've, I said that from the start. Whenever I saw her and I reacted to her very first video, she is legitimately good. But I do think it, this is, this is how react or like anytime you get a, as a streamer, you grow, I think a lot is opportunity. So you need to be good and prepared for when the opportunity happens so that you gain viewers when if you it you it, it when you when that lucky thing happens that like um that like people talk about if you're bad at streaming or you are not great at talking to people or or you you are not having a good stream or something when your lucky opportunity happens where you have a thousand viewers come in because someone rated you or someone watched your youtube video if that moment you are not performing and you are not like entertaining you will not gain anything from that so she has to be entertaining in the first place but yes this is the same thing like with i would make the argument like there's a lot of streamers that have this luck moment but if the reason why they do well off of it is because of the fact that they are good streamers they're just good from the beginning or they're good content creators if you don't have that good factor you'll never gain an audience off of like off of like that boon that you get or that luck you have to be prepared for when that moment happens so that you're 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 like in sh it's almost like you're in shape for when the event or random event happens and then you're able to actually overcome that random event because you were prepared change the fact that it's bad it doesn't change the reality that they're well to put it nicely leeching streamers have mad copium about it too some will even look you dead in the eyes and say they're paying the original creator an exposure but i guarantee you if a sponsor messaged them and said they'd pay them an exposure they'd write them a very strong email <laughs> that translates to get bent they know they're reaching but because people enjoy the content and there's a cbt andy behind every street corner waiting to mug them creators have kept quiet that is until now because believe you me the cancer of react content has finally gone terminal let me give you an example one of the trends i just love about the internet today is when people will take a tiktok or a youtube short change absolutely fuck all about yeah. it and just shut their ugly face into the corner while the actual video plays yeah this is tr this is the trash that i'm talking about that i absolutely fucking hate like I, I completely understand anyone having an absolute massive issue. There's celebrities who do this. They're just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. There is no way that the original video on TikTok is going to get seen at all. And it's not going to benefit. That is just straight up leeching. And I think that's also a, probably a platform issue in a lot of ways. I am being so serious. When I say making this content should get you put on an FBI list, the government should make laws forbidding it, uploading it should be a federal crime, and it should carry a minimum 10-year sentence. Institutions should be built solely to rehabilitate people who actually like this garbage, though I fear that they're beyond help. Every time I talk about this, I feel like I'm turning into the Dark Knight Joker. Because we truly do live in a society. Nobody bats an eye when Netflix issues a DMCA on someone for watching one of their TV shows last. People shrug and say, yeah, you were asking for it. What did you expect? But when YouTubers stand up for themselves and try to protect their content, people lose their minds and say, You should have taken it to the DMs. Oh, oh, they made fun of my best buddy BLT for playing. So, I think this is where, like, I, I, I think there's, like, some warrant to this. I don't think you should have to have permission, but if the original content owner asks you to take something down, I think you should take it down if you're a React streamer. Secondly, if you're not making it transformative, that's an issue. Third, I think you should kind of wait a little bit and not be on the same day. I have done React on the exact same day on stream, and I have probably shouldn't have done that, and I do regret that. I, I, I think it should be like either somewhere between four days to like a week because you, and especially just even posting a React to uh, YouTube because you want to make sure that the original content creator gets in the algorithm 
and if and, and in your video it doesn't overtake them i think the other big like like after like a four days to a week generally your algorithm's probably gonna die maybe a week is probably safer but it's really hard sometimes when it's like a very very relevant recent topic topic yeah, some streamers don't upload the reacts until one to two weeks. Later. Exactly, exactly. There's like a window, I think, that's like really, like, it's reasonable because I do think react content can recharge some of, like, the original video's value in the algorithm. I, I don't, I think, I think it's a better chance of falling flat if you don't do that. Like, don't have any responses or anything, like, from it. And it just sits there. But definitely, like, the Sniper Wolf xqc tiktok things like that like that or like youtube shorts that's not gonna do anything it also helps to credit the original video it does it does you need to make sure you're crediting the original video i agree someone else's video when he went potty don't they know that if abc doesn't give us filler content will he take the massive shit the man will literally die <laughs> what am i supposed to do die by the way totally off topic here but there's this dancing fruit trend on youtube where it's literally just fruit dancing on the screen what? and it's used to keep babies occupied yeah while parents are busy doing other things like filing their taxes or giving that baby a younger sibling oh shit just so you know that's what these streamers are doing to you when they pull this shit uh, when they do that style, for sure. I feel it's like watching a YouTube video and the way I react to it is like me going getting a news article in a lot of ways. It's just in another format. And then like reading the news article and then having an opinion about it. Like when we get like a patch note from like Yoshida, right? And then I go and review it and then I talk about it. I feel like basically I'm taking a relevant topic and I'm consuming it and then i'm giving like my regur not regurgitated but like my opinion on it in a way that's like some level of commentary on some topic and and it's usually a topic that i have some knowledge of i think the big problem is 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 is, is what she's getting at is going to be returned like to the original streamer though how does how does this get back to the original streamer what does it benefit the original streamer and I don't have a clear answer to that, and I'm, I'm not sure there's ever a good way. I kind of, like, think it'd be nice if YouTube, YouTube have a way to, like, split monetization if it was posted on YouTube specific, specifically. But, like, in the case of um, Twitch to YouTube, I don't know how that would work. I, I don't know. Like, because we're watching a YouTube video, but we're on Twitch, right? I prefer watching someone tell me what's the patch notes instead of reading it myself. Yeah, that's kind of that like because you can find like someone can come over and find the relevant thing, right? Yeah, topics of discussion, exactly. They're unironically giving you the dancing fruit baby treatment. This stuff really does make me sad because when I look at React Meta streamers, it's like glancing into the future and seeing an older, richer, <laughs> more evil version of myself. Cause from the outside looking in. Full-time reacting seems like the end stage of a content creator's career. The point where the cracks really start to show, even to outsiders. These creators are burnt out, they're disillusioned with their jobs, they no longer have the passion to create, and yet they're scared of losing what they've already built. They can't even manage to take a pit. I don't know if I agree with that completely, at least in... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be real, I don't have a lot of other comparisons besides Asmin, okay? I feel like there's more to it than him just being at the end of the career because I think his streams are better now than they were when he was only streaming WoW. But that's maybe because I'm not a WoW like WoW player. I don't I I think that's probably perspectively like what you're interested in. I I think I, I, I'd rather just hear someone's commentary on something, and that's why I prefer those streams, and I think they were way better. I think it really, really depends on the creator. And I do, like, I, I think if you're sitting there, and you're only, all the time, only reacting, and that's all you fucking do, and, and, and you have no, and you're, you're doing, like, the barely giving any commentary, that is you leeching off your audience and just creating, like, a hangout place that you're, you're just like, eh, eh. Yeah, barely talking at all like you're you're taking advantage of like your old old like 
buildup of rep and stuff. And I have to think that would gradually like dwindle if you're not actually creating anything new. Because there's going to be some new person who actually has like relevant content and entertaining content. I think you would go and watch them. If you're just sitting there and that's all you're doing, reacting. This break without fear, this will be abandoned while they tinkle. And what the fuck? You have a dick, Lucy? Live in a world where the only way to Holy shit. Attention is by attaching subway serve gameplay to the fucking video. So then I thought it was just a meme. What even can we do about reaction content? Should we refuse to watch it? Just like the videos when Don't we all up, true? Run to Twitter and do our absolute best to cancel people like QVC? And then what? Well, Despite all the time I spent laying into the concept, no, because I don't want it to go away. That's right. I like it. I like reaction content, and I'm not talking out of my ass as someone who gets all of the benefits and none of the pain. Hell, every single video of mine that Asmund Gold has reacted to Jesus Christ. has more views than my original. I say this while knowing full well the consequences of the content format. I absolutely lost many views and some ad revenue to a WoW player. And trust me. Man, I, I, I really think she just took advantage of it. So I, I think she actually benefited more from it. Like, I'm not trying to, like, say she's wrong. That she probably didn't lose. Like, if you if you took his ad revenue, right? Clearly, he, he got more out of it than she did. But, like, I think the scale at which she grew and the benefit of it and the boon of it, I think it helped her a lot. And I, I'm not saying that like she couldn't have done it herself, but I, I, and this is where I come back to. She was uh, prepared for the situation to be able to take advantage of it. I really think there's more to it than just that. I, I, I think she, I think she could have gradually grew to where she is now for sure. And she's really good at doing that. But I, I think there's a, a big difference between like, I think there's a big difference, like having that boot on your side. That stinks. But you know what? Call it a hunch, but I feel like the overlap of Asmongold's audience with mine is, uh, <laughs> a little low. And every time- it Really? Hold on. Uh, <laughs> really? Hmm. She might be, I mean, that might be right. It's hard to know if this is like a poll, though. I think that's really difficult. People don't respond to these things always, but I mean, it's percentages, right? It probably scales. A little low. And every time someone clicks on an Asmongold reaction, they're not clicking on it for me or for any other creator he's reacting to while we're at it. They're clicking for Asmon. Because he's their guy. He's their little boy. Their little doggy man. And for new creators who think they can ride the React meta wave into stardom, you're wrong. Because the one little thing they never teach you about reacting is that no one cares what John from Ohio thinks about the recent Blizzard fuck-ups. Absolutely true. I know no one cares about what I fucking say. People just meme on me and give zero fucks. Ty, do you watch your original videos uh, or do you watch someone react to it? Um... It, I, I absolutely do not go to the original video if I re watch a reaction. That's that's absolutely true. That is absolutely true in Asmund's case. But I have picked up creators that I thought were interesting from his. So, like I like listed earlier, Preach, Bellular, uh, Mad Season. Uh, I've seen watch Palatinum video, WoW videos when they've came out. Uh, I watched Pyro videos before he actually started playing 14 because of Asmin, like his own videos. I've seen plenty of like WoW streamers at least, for sure. Actman's the other one. I think there's more than that, but those are the ones off the top of my head. Yeah, I don't watch the video twice, but I, I think what it does is it leads me to like paying attention to those creators more. Lucy's videos were really good for 14's sake, and I do think she held her own weight in like the original, but I do think a lot of people like gravitated more towards her even when like the 14 met like what a 14 creators were like watching her videos and stuff on youtube and i think a lot of people found her like originally when 14 like react content was pretty heavy during like the big boon 
And she definitely did stuff. Like I said, it's when you are good in the right moments and take advantage of it. That's completely her. I, but I, I do feel that like some views definitely got redirected from like other people going and checking her out. Like just to build her up from the beginning. I, and I, but, I, but the, like I said, the big thing is, is you actually have to be entertaining. If you are not entertaining, it will not benefit you all. You see the Actman downfall of Quantum? I did see it. See it. Uh, the original reason I watched Actman was not because of the Quantum stuff, though. I've subbed to more people on YouTube because of reaction content is basically what I'm getting at. I, I may not go back and watch that specific video, but any video that that person outputs in the future, that's what I'm watching. Why? Because he's not asking gold. You have to prove that you're someone who has opinions that matter before anyone gives a shit about your reaction in the No, first she's place. right. Huge streamers can coast off of reaction content because they put in the work earlier that got them to where they are today. But that doesn't give them a free pass. They're still responsible for working with the people they react to, shouting them out properly, giving them credit, and negotiating with them about what is and isn't off limits. And we should absolutely hold their feet to the fire on that. But at the same time, we as creators have to stop being pussies. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this right now. I, the only reason I kept reacting to her videos is I actually have asked her if I'm okay to react to these. I, 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 I DM'd her about it and she said it, she didn't have a problem with it. So I don't know if your opinion changed on this as of this video, but like, I don't think she actually has a problem with it at all. But I will say the, one of the reasons I did keep reacting to her content in general was because I did ask her and I, for permission. Because when she originally started, I was like, I said, like, I don't want to put this, I don't want to do this without, like, because basically what happened is the very first video that I reacted to of her, I did not have her permission. And it, like, blew the fuck up enough that it got me YouTube partnered. I then proceeded because I felt bad to ask her for permission. Because I, I legitimately felt bad. I recently watched the act man's video about this topic live by the way I know the irony and he mentioned that he spoke with Asmund Gold about yeah I saw that one too and reacting to a Diablo 4 video and you know what happened Asmund said okay he agreed to wait four days before he reacted to his content giving it some time to steep into the algorithm and the act man was happy and Asmund Gold was happy and the viewers were happy and I'm pretty sure they also made out while dressed like a star in the Felix clip. They told me to leave that part out. It's almost like if creators just talk face to face and we don't fuck around, we won't find out. And this goes for myself too. I'm a very non-confrontational person, but no longer. That's right. Lucy oh shit. Reactors, I'm watching you. Oh shit. Especially you. I live in oh shit. Stained walls. Oh and my god, I'm fucked. I'm absolutely that's fucked, guys. Banging the sexy roach anime girls that live under your floorboard. So keep the timing. reactions. And keep making fun of streamers for doing reactions. And do leave likes and comments and watch time on the original videos. Remember, only you can stop content leeching. So does anyone remember when NPC used to actually make Overwatch content? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. That was... Uh, I, I... She's... I think she's absolutely right, like, in what she's saying. Like, I'm not, like... I feel like what I do is a little different, but it, I can understand what she has a problem with if this is a legitimate concern of with hers. And I don't... But the problem is, is there's, like, no solution anywhere for, like, React content to give back to the original streamer outside of expo exposure until, like, there's actual systems to give back to them. There's a video, though. I think she's right, though, in a lot of this, but I, I'm i a little bit more, like, on at least how she gained some growth. I don't, I'm not, I'm, I, I think she took advantage of it. I think that's really what it comes down to. And I'm really weirded out about the poll thing. I, It's just, that's the only part that I'm not confident on. Maybe people just clicked YouTube because they saw it on YouTube. I have no fucking idea.